What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video from the beautiful and sunny Fethiye here in Turkey. Today we are going to visit the abandoned city of Kayakö which is about 10 kilometers or so away from the city of Fethiye so we're gonna take a dolmuş but we're actually making it a habit to start our videos in this beautiful park right here uh, which is really really nice. We're gonna walk again along the promenade and then take the dolmuş from the bus station so let's go. One thing we really like about Turkey is that look at this beautiful sun. So today it was supposed to be raining and what was the percentage yesterday? 70%? 75% and now it's about 5 or 6 at the moment and it should be around 20% a bit later. So initially today we thought that we were gonna spend some time in indoors and catching up with some work on our laptops but because it's a nice day we're going out. Obviously you're gonna have the clouds right there around the mountain because it's really high but look at that other side so we're gonna go beyond those mountains right there that is where kayak is days so yeah we we were lucky I'm guessing it's a really nice day really warm great Alright guys, we made it to the Dolmuş station, which is pretty much the same station as the one from um, two days ago when we went to Oli Deniz. It's the same station and you're taking the Dolmuş to Kayaköy. It should be coming right now. Alright guys, we made it to the abandoned town of Kayaköy, previously known as Karmilasos by the way. And straight away, look at the houses on the hill right here, on the mountain facade that are abandoned and there are hundreds of them, something like that. We're gonna explore that, let's go. So I think our first mission is to figure out why they have been abandoned. Uh, we saw a few signs just describing what the buildings were, like an old school or a water station. Um, but apart from that, we didn't see anything. We're gonna try and look online as well. But look at these places, guys. Some of them have been turned into hotels and boutiques, obviously, because of the attraction right here. But most of them are abandoned, and you can see it is like that. That's got a furnace there or what is left of it. There is also a castle on top of a hill right here, so we're gonna try and get to that as well. We don't know how, <laughs> but we're gonna figure that out as well. There you go, these are some of the hotels I was telling about. I think this one might be as well, I'm not 100% sure. It looks like it has been refurbished. We're gonna go that way and the castle is on the hill right there. It's nice to see when people start restoring these places, these old places, and pretty much give them life again. Nice, nice to see that, really nice. Somebody has got a few sheep down here, which is nice. Check this out, guys. Obviously not much to see. <sighs> and there are 
kids around here. Um, so I think based on the signs that we saw uh, when we entered the area, these houses have been dating from the 18th century, 17th and 18th century, I think, something like that. I'm gonna try again and find some more online, but um, didn't have much success. Something on the hill right there, you can see it. And we're gonna try to get that. Let's see how to. Right, so we came up to this street right here, and Google Maps takes you up to this point. And from here, I'm just guessing you have to follow the path and guide yourself by the castle or whatever that is on top of the hill. So we're gonna try that. This right here must have been a big house, I'm guessing. But look at that wall right there. <laughs> She's standing like that. Are you afraid to come? A little bit, huh? This definitely would have been the basement or something, and that would have been the livable place. Or maybe they would have kept the animals down here. Because that is a cooking furnace, isn't it? Or a heating, something. Oh, that could have been a cooking furnace as well. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Again, look at that wall right there. All right. Right guys, so we found why the village has been abandoned. So, it was known as Carmelisos, um, that was the Greek name. And uh, the people that used to live here were Greek Orthodox. And this has been like this for over 2000 years, no problems during the Ottoman Empire. Um, but, at almost the end of the Ottoman Empire, in 1920, something around there, uh, a war began between Greece and Turkey. And uh, because the Greek community here was quite big and the country didn't want them to be here anymore, I think the people that used to live here have been exiled, sent back to Greece or to working uh, stations in the Turkish territory <laughs> it's pretty grim to to think about it that they have been exiled from their homes where they have lived for thousands of years as a community so no problems they have been Greek Orthodox since the ancient Greek Empire and uh, now they have been exiled so this happened in the beginning of the 20th century so 19 20 something like that and then obviously nobody came to live here anymore not on the hill at least there are still people uh, from my understanding that are still living uh, again from the community that are still living down there in the valley but not on the hill well sad story I know but it is a story and that actually happened before uh, Turkey became what it is today, the Republic of Turkey. It was the, still the Ottoman Empire, so it says a lot about them. But yeah. Well, that is history, guys. We take it as it is, we can't change it. It happened 100 years ago. Now we're gonna try and explore. Pretty much learn about this. Get it out there. I'm pretty sure uh, the Republic of Turkey don't hide it, obviously. They, uh, they want people to come here and see the history. It happened yeah again it was done during the Ottoman Empire not during the today's Republic of Turkey pretty big town right here guys look at the beautiful view that they would have had you can only imagine now I read online that there have been 6,500 people living here in these houses Wow. <laughs> Good news though, after the fall 
of the Ottoman Empire when Ataturk founded the Republic of Turkey. Uh, the people that have been exiled to Greece have been allowed to come back to Turkey, mostly to Smyrna, Izmir of today. That's nice. Guys, we made it to the top, the church right here, but look at that view, so this is the entire village, we've got one more spot that we need to visit around there, you can see the flag, we've got a hill down there, we'll see if we can make it to that point, obviously Baba Dag in the background, look at that beautiful mountain, and look at the sea right here guys, wow, so beautiful. Olu Deniz Beach is just around the corner from there We've already been there Make sure if you haven't check out the video Do it right now guys, I'm gonna put in the cordon right there for you <laughs> So, so beautiful And you wanna span the path Should be this way Alright, so we've got a few things I think that would have been a fountain That would have been a, an annex of the church And the church right behind us Simple church, small one. Let's just check it out. Gonna go inside. Right, obviously, humans <laughs> wrote on the walls <laughs> for <laughs> the civilizations that are about to come thousands of years from now to know hearts <laughs> and names of people. 2005, oh, that's old. <laughs> oh, yeah. Simple, small, orthodox. He can tell. Huh. Guys, we can see another one on top of the mountain right there. Uh, but we can't see the path. It's probably around the back of this hill right here. Not 100% sure. Right, next stop, we're gonna try and go to that point right there and if we can, maybe to the one on the hill, to the church on the hill but we'll see about that but that place right there, for sure, let's go Nice, we found a cave Let's check it out Somebody made a fire here Right Gotta be careful with these places Not bad but that's pretty much it. It's got some inner uh, tunnels in there, but obviously they're really small. Probably for the water to go through, but not for us. Right, so we found a series of caves. <laughs> We're gonna try and explore right now. That's actually pretty interesting in this valley right here. People come here pretty often though. So beautiful what nature does, right? They made this cave and look at this tree right here, the way it grew. Wow. Cave number two and we can see how prehistoric humans used to live and make fire. <laughs> Don't you think this is prehistoric? <laughs> I think this is like three or four thousand years or something like that. I even saw a plastic bottle, ancient plastic bottle <laughs> somewhere around there. Jokes aside, it's really beautiful. Alright guys, we made it to a big church on the hill from the 19th century apparently but it's closed due to safety reasons probably because of collapsing or stuff like that but let me just show you what they've got in here it looks pretty nice to be honest you can see that it's a Christian 
it's got Greek influences. Oh, and the mosaics on the on the bottom are really nice. Yeah, sadly we can't visit it, but we don't have to risk it. So this right here is the old school for men, men only, it says on the plate. It's uh, on a hill, we saw it from the bottom and we can also see the chapel that we already visited right there and the houses that we went through. So basically we came up that way from the main road up to the chapel and then came on this side right here all the way across to the front of the church right there, that is the church. And then we came again behind the church on this road and here we are guys the old school right here in Kayakoi And we made it to the end, which is actually the beginning, I think. And uh, this is a summary of what I told you already about this place, guys. Kayake, Carmilasos, also known as Levisi. Right, guys, we're back outside right now. Uh, we just spent about 15 minutes uh, enjoying a cup of chai at a terrace right here, right at the entrance. It's a really nice old lady. Make sure you stay there for a chai. That was really nice, we, we enjoyed it. But right now, we're gonna wait for the Dolmush to take us back to Fethiye. Uh, and we're gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. And with that being said, check out the links down below in the description, watch another video, and let's discover Turkey together in the next one. Bye.